on ABC. Great rivalries produce great memories and unforgettable images. Florida State and Miami made wide right a part of our football vocabulary, and they did it over and over again. Last year, the outcome of this great rivalry came right down to the final play. Incomplete, and Miami wins it. And tonight, for the first time in 35 years, Bobby Bowden will not be on the field coaching the Seminoles. Jim head coach. Both sides want this victory. Florida State, Miami. It is simply one of the best rivalries ever. Here for an ACC interstate battle. You know, no rivalry in college football can match the emotion and commotion of Florida State, Miami. So brace yourself. This game is back to having national significance. Dustin Hopkins, the fine field goal kicker for the Knowles. And there is the return of Cooper. Line drive picked by one of the short men, and it's going to give them very good field position at the 35. Heather Cox, the third Shannon member of said our that's team. absolutely false. Also, guys, Miami has the return of Greg Cooper, their leading rusher for the past three seasons, comes back tonight for the first time since opening night. Miami's offense full strength, Brent. So both Barry and James in the backfield, and on first down, Ja'Cory Harris will take it out of bounds, picking up a couple of Cooper yards. Only his man can make the catch. This is the handoff to Damian Berry, number 20, and Mr. Alexander. I've always wanted to say that name. It's a great alive. name. It's a great Mr. Name. Alexander makes the stat. Something to watch uh, tonight. Central Brent, you know, Henderson gets a lot of attention. The right tackle is playing as a freshman. Tremaine Johnson starts for Orlando Franklin at left tackle. So two freshman tackles going up against the Florida State defense that leads the nation with 25 sacks. Short drop. Incomplete. There's the flag. That's an automatic first down. Penalty is on. And Oklahoma handing Florida State their only defeat. Miami's been beaten in Columbus by Ohio State. And here is Harris taking off in a foot race. And he crosses the 30-yard line before Kendall Smith, the senior linebacker, can bring him down. Herbie, that's 29 yards. And that is a great job by Ja'Cory Harris. They're going to go up tempo here, but a good job of recognizing the way Florida State matched up underneath with man coverage. Right away, Ja'Cory is able to recognize that. And USC, away. and when they went on probation, Herbie, take over. Yeah, that was the, towards the end of that second play where the horse collar there that did not get called. But yeah, interesting. Chantrell Henderson, amazing story, Brent. First and 15. Barry, the running back. By the left guard and the center to the 30, and Smith again. To see how they've adjusted to it. Need 12. Has time. Slips a tackle on that near side. Johnson, and then down on the knee with Greg Reed by Mark Whipple here early, and Mike James back on the field. Play action fake. Backs give him a little more time, still looking, and then drops it off complete for a first down. Great patience. So the two Northwestern teammates hook up here for a couple of plays, and that has given a first and goal to Harris and the Canes. And now Barry plunges right straight ahead, and nothing much doing against that Noel front. Moving up was Nick Moody. Growth the maturity of the Canes. Harris fires high, almost intercepted. Reed had a shot of it at the goal line. There was pressure coming from Brandon Jenkins. Third and goal, and Damian Berry as a shoe comes off. Back to the 15 yard line. Six field goals this year. His long 52, so he's got plenty of leg here. As the son of the offensive coordinator puts down, pulled this one to the left. Missed it. So the drive goes awry, and Bosher misses it. Well, we are back, and you've heard about how many quarterbacks come out of the state of Texas for teams all around the country. You're looking at one right now. Number seven, Christian Ponder. 
Hollyville, Texas, and he hands it off on the first play of the game. Thomas, a very hard runner. Jermaine Thomas, that basic looking 4 3 that the Canes have used since the heyday of Jimmy Johnson. Flashed outside and a great tackle on Easterling. Hunter needs three incomplete. And the Knowles are first. Okay, thanks, Heather. And Travis Benjamin is in the game as the return man. And there are ghosts of special teams gone awry for the Miami Dolphins the other night. So hold on every time somebody does something here tonight. Benjamin forced out of bounds. The, uh, the fans down here are so eager for the NBA season to get going and watch what they think is going to be a dream team. And here's a handoff now to Barry. Ja'Cory Harris is out there. Obviously, but a but a pretty basic play. And he's the head coach up at the University of Massachusetts, coordinator of the Pittsburgh Steelers, incomplete. And now this will put him in third and faster end. in this that new setup. Orlando Franklin is in at left tackle here on the second series, and they roll the pocket away from the right side of the defense and throw it in complete return man. Marsha hangs it very high. This might be the role they try him out in the NFL. He really gets hang time. Up the middle's Reed. And slam down at the 35. Telemac, the safety. <laughs> That's those. There's a handoff. Thomas again busts the tackle. Good, strong run. For about nine yards, and now we go to Robert Flores. 7:22 to go, and they use the up back who breaks into the open. And Lonnie Pryor with his first carry of the night. Smiley is now in, gets the carry, and check that, Lonnie Pryor. So they come back with Pryor using the pistol and Thompson. Chris Thompson is the running back. Ponder fires inside the 20 yard line and Telemac again comes up. So Von Telemac on East scoreless in South Florida. Zone blocking cut back with Thompson. Play action. Comes in underneath with one of the many screens that Jumbo has. Touchdown! They come to the running back, Jermaine Thomas, for 17 yards, and they will screen all we'll back and look at this, and you'll see uh, there looked to be some some miscues there by Miami. It's a large opening right down the middle of that defense. Even a tight end, Relford was wide open down the middle. And Dustin Hopkins adds the extra point. And Cooper are back deep. Fine kickoff. Clements fields it. A couple yards deep. He's going to come out. Can he get to the 20? No, sir. Gamble failed. Mike Harris Field. for the null. There's Hill. And the handoff is to James. James is stopped short of the 10 and then muscled back by the, the double coverage, forcing Ja'Cory Harris to look elsewhere to be able to come up with some completions. Throw out of the end zone, and they do get it to Hankerson. So his favorite target. There. They with caused a lot of confusion for Florida State's defense. Good design by Mark Whipple, the offensive coordinator. Harris back protected. One handed grab. What a grab by Hankerson again. I gotta get my guy the football. What a catch. Barry. The edge. 12 yards on the burst. Miami get into a little bit of rhythm, and I think a lot of it has to do with Ja'Cory Harris taking a little bit of chance, kind of bailing out on the throw, but look at the effort and the catch oh. by his guy. Not only hold, not only the catch, but Terrence Parks lowers the boom and he holds on to the football. Bird comes to the right. Harris says we've got it going in the air. Let me keep. Oh, it was dropped out. First coverage by the Knowles. Pressure coming. And a sack at the 34-yard line. 
Marcus. Third and 21. In trouble again. Tried to drop it off, and that's an offense much to learn, folks. Number 77 got whipped pretty good, and Reed goes back. Greg Reed with the fair catch signal on the Bosher punt. Caught the pass for the Knowles touchdown. They lead it by seven, two and a half here to go. Play action again by Ponder. Drops it in underneath for a big first down. Bo big Ruffers. windows behind them between the linebackers and the safeties. Pryor leads the way. Thomas cuts back on a beautiful hole out to the 45 yard line. A fine cut before. Play action again by Ponder. Steps away, shovel pass inside. Thomas down to the 40 yard line for a first down. Thompson now checks in as the running back. Chris Thompson, he's number 23. Not much doing. I used to love when you and Eric called the games. Ah, the old coach. <laughs> oh, great coach. Wonderful coach. Second down and 10. Rush four stands incomplete on the jarring hit by Sean Spence. The leading tackler unloaded on Burt Reed. Take a look. Brent, you almost feel like you need something like that to get Miami to have a little bit of spark. This first quarter has been dominated by Florida State when it comes to the energy and the momentum of this game, despite it being played down in Miami. I think you're right, Herbie. They, they needed something. Chris Thompson checks in as the running back here for Ponder. Ponder slips away, throws. Great, incomplete eyes oh, up weird. for a moment. Punted away. Sean Powell, Travis Benjamin back deep again. Powell tries to pooch it, hit it a little bit harder than he wanted to, and it'll come out on the 20 yard line. Throughout the week, they keep you up to date on everything. Barry on the toss. Cut back into the thick of things. And the first quarter will come to an end. So Miami threatened on the first series. It couldn't score. Missed a field goal. And the Knowles lead it. This presentation of Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines will return after this message and a word from our ABCs. They have a second down and eight for Ja'Cory Harris. Big hole in the middle for Barry. Close to the first down. Picks up the rest of these backs a shot. Can the offensive line get it for him? They do. First down. Like and to do ten. against Benjamin and also Leonard Hankerson. Henderson's out. And Johnson's at right tackle too. And incomplete. Play action. Harris. Deep down the middle, incomplete. Third and ten, because they don't pick up anything on that long pass. And a counter play with Barry. Fumble! Knowles in zone! Touchdown, Nick Moody! The sophomore Crazy things can happen, Herbie. Uh, a good job of scooping this up and going. A little effort here by Barry, but the one thing I want to know, Brent. Once Moody picks this up, good effort to bring him down. And then right there, Benjamin, does he strip the ball before he crosses the goal line? It's worth another look for sure. Because if, it's woo, coming out. And if the ball rolls out of the end zone, it'll be first and 20 Miami. First and, I mean, first and 10 at their own 20. It's a touchback. Great pickup, Herbie, because this is really going to send instant replay back and forth. It looks to me as he's turning that that ball is coming out. Folks, what do you think at home? And the other thing, Brent, is I think he's still in the air. I don't think his back had touched the, the, the field before the ball came out. There's a little face mask. And of course, they can't call that. <laughs> no, no. But he's still up. I want to make sure everybody understands. The officials on the field could have called face mask, but instant replay cannot. They cannot initiate a foul. So.
Thomas will try to swing outside. Step in for the touchdown. The turnover. Lee adds the point. Now watch the hit on the fumble. Bangs it out of the end zone, and we go to Robert Flores for a Sports Center right now. St. Paul, Minnesota, is back at right tackle. He's number 77, and they put a tight end over there on that side of the line. Play action, drops it off to James. James is down just short of the 20 yard That's line. A line. You can't run the ball. It's tough to run this offense. He flares one to the outside, and Barry is up in 12. Bird down at the bottom of your screen. And Harris goes toward that far side incomplete. And out of bounds. And the Definitely Canes locked again. in on their keys and flying to the ball. Bosher with Greg Reed waiting. This is going to take a Miami bounce. Reed will pick it up on the hop, and he's leveled at the 29 yard line. The running back behind Christian Ponder. He'll stretch the defense and a huge hole again. Dominant cuts back, got a blocker. And coming up over the top is Colin McCarthy as the running back. And he is thrown back that time. And there Regis. is that pistol sweeping the country. The Chris Alt formation from Nevada. Dropped. Incomplete with the college football game. And here he is tonight. As Ponder drops it in underneath and comes right back to Halstead. And Halstead is inside the 50 for Miami. In that red zone again. Ponder comes up underneath for a couple of yards. For, uh, up for Christian Ponder. 7 of 11 for 89 yards as he looks at this second and seven. Here comes Thomas. Not afraid to take yeah. a defensive player on, is Thomas picks his way into the end zone again. That's his third touchdown of the night. 13 pounds willing to go in there and pick up those big linebackers. Dustin Hopkins has his third extra point of the night. So the That's young man, me. Dustin Hopkins. And needing something to happen, Greg Cooper is back deep. Well, he's got a big leg, doesn't he? <laughs> Out of the end zone. So here we are, folks. And Herbie. Not at all. Go ahead. 1974. First down and 10. Play action. Chikori, the deep middle ball. Incomplete and the almost. atmosphere, the tempo of Kevin Wilson's offense that night got the best of them. They learned from it, came back and got better. And here's Jacory coming in underneath the bench. And he picks up about seven yards. No sense that Jimbo last three games have been outstanding. And again, here tonight. Let's see third down with the defense can come up with. And Jacory with Johnson going down. How dare he dominating. So they're gonna go. On fourth and one, and when you do this in this situation, folks, you've got to make it. And they do. Barry. Showing a little bit of fight, getting up there. Fourth down. Brent, you said it, pretty desperate inside your own 30. The first half, down 21. They've got to go for it. I thought it might be a sneak, but they're able to get a little bit of a little bit of a push there and give Barry enough room to wiggle through for the first. Almost picked off that screen pass. Jeff Stoutman has to be beside himself with his offensive line. And thrown. third down and one. Plenty of time for Miami to get on the board here in the first half. There's the first down with James. The football will be played. Miami can get back in this game, but just so far from what we've seen, it's shocking to me to, me, to see the lack of life from uh, the Canes in this first half. From under center. Far side, got a man open, and he 
battles for it, Benjamin does. Exactly that for 31 yards. Well, he gets one-on-one -on -one opportunity against Greg Reed, Florida State's best defensive back, and Reed lets him just get right by him. And Ja'Cory Harris, his strength is throwing the deep ball vertically down the field to give his receivers a chance to make a clock. They get it off. Harris, too hot. And James was the intended I'll target. Take responsibility. If the ball is coming to me, I will either knock it down or catch it. There will not be a pick tonight. And that's exactly what he did there. This is incomplete in and out. He's been that's getting off with his snap. From the gun. Juggle. First down. First and goal with Hankerson. Caught the juggle before Moody saving a touchdown inside the five. And a little move here by Hankerson against Vince Williams right in the middle. A little move to the outside, back to the inside. And that's exactly what he had to do to find the opening. Nice move. And on first and goal, Barry can't gain any ground because of... Play action, rolling, can he make it? Foot raise, dives for the end zone, touchdown Miami! It's a great call to get him to the outside. He still has the speed despite the little bit of an injury he dealt with early. He definitely got to the corner. Kind of aiming for that pylon, trying to be able to pick up the touchdown. Good call on the bootleg. Marcus White committed down. It's an aggressive defense. That bootleg misdirection, a great call. Here's Bosher. He missed a field goal. He's missed only one extra point. Deep kickoff. Three yards deep, and here comes Greg Reed. A little bit of an alley and a crease. Here comes Reed exploding. And Bosher wades into him and slowed him up. That probably that saved a huge touch. night. Three touchdowns is your eye back. Plenty of time here for the Knowles. And around now, Easterling. He's a baseball player and he is ripped down by Allen. Second down. Here comes Thomas. Only got a couple. Telemac makes his. Here's the handoff. Thomas. A little cutback runner in the hole, isn't he? And Brandon Harris will be the nickelback. Brandon has a slot man toward the top of your formation. Little handoff. And another loss. McCarthy cleans it up after Armstrong penetrates. Boy, great job of getting penetration. When you get penetration against an outside zone play, McCarthy fighting through his block. You can see that it allows the defensive backs, in this case, Ray Ray, Ray, Ray Armstrong comes up. But it started on the outside by McCarthy kind of setting the edge, beating his tight end, and the rest of the Miami defense is able to come in and chase it down. Third down and 12. Under back over the middle, high and caught. For a first down at the red zone and knocking on the door again, the Knowles. And Thompson is, came away with the win. And finally, after 37 days, back home. Second down and 15. Thompson in the middle of the defense. A war and a fourth quarter game where you're holding on for dear life to both teams. And that'll be on ESPN. 7 p.m. and they work an end around play here with Reed and up for it the Canes and that is Spence number 31 to get 10 now by Dustin Hopkins. This will be a 38 yarder. He's from that left hash. Long enough. Got it. 24 7 in. Hopkins said, please don't put me in that wide right situation. Miami <laughs> in the last minute 48 here of the first half. Sellout crowd on hand. What a strong leg he has. And we'd like to remind everybody that millions of folks watch the family go from ordinary to extraordinary 
I wonder if the option was to kick, kick it over. Yeah, maybe that would be the only reason. Yeah, that would be the only thing that I could think of. If the situation would be. So it is first down and 10 here. And here comes Barry. Steps up in the pocket and incomplete. I can and think of only Florida might have done it. I don't know what they did in baseball. They certainly did it basketball and football one year because they beat, the, beat Ohio State in a national championship game. So we get confirmation that it was Florida. And there is the pitch for the first down to LaRon Bird. About a minute, a little over a minute left here for Jacori. And the Canes coming down the near side incomplete. Second down and 10. See if they can find Hankerson with the long ball. And very content here. And the crowd will not like this 16 with a half minute to go. Down 24 7. Got the first down. The clock quickly Quick strikes, strikes touchdown. But here's where they need that sense of urgency. They've wasted 10 seconds. Going deep near side. Benjamin might have been interfered with. There's no flag. That replay, Herbie, you were 100% right. Here comes Shakori. Back down high, a little bit high on that throw. Either the Hail Mary off to the right or try to get something as quick as they can and get out of bounds. This one in the first half. He crossed the line. No. Time is out. And listen, he's grabbing that groin. Remember, early in this game, He was lit up a couple of times. Neutral time report. John Saunders and Jesse Palmer will be coming up right after this. Florida State dominating here now. Fielded at the 10 by Greg Reed. Reed on a cutback. Play action. Ponder fires in on the first drive. Thompson is now the running back out of the pistol. Hand off to him quickly to the hole. And he scoots free at midfield in a foot race. And he will be brought down. 29 rushing yards for the Knowles. That big offensive line. And there's Jermaine Thomas. Thomas did to this offensive line in this team. And already they've Hit 130 here tonight against the Canes. Play action fake. Ponder on the move. To that side and of the ball. So here's third and one. Using the fullback right straight ahead. Breaks attacker going to the end zone. Lonnie Pryor oh, scores. Zone six. player a toss sweep. And it's Pryor surprising him with his speed right up the middle of that defense. Tacking on another extra point. Take a knee, and uh, Heather, I see that Jacory Harris has his helmet. This one's returnable. From the 10 yard line, it is Cooper. And Cooper out of bounds around the 30. And it, yeah, let's see what number 12 can come up with here. First down. Shuttle pass inside to Barry. They're taking away. They're just well schooled. There's a game, but there's a good job of improvising there by Jacori. Incomplete. Third down and six. Jacori Harris from the gun. Fires downfield to Hankerson for the first down. Here coming through Near for Leonard. 
Harris has thrown for 161. Picks it back up, throws in underneath. And a one. jarring. Harris looks back underneath for the first down to Hankerson. And Hankerson. Is all low underneath. It shows what he can do with the ball after he makes the catch at 6'3, 205 pounds. So they hand off and Barry breaks through. Touchdown, Miami. He's showing some life tonight, you know it? Yes, indeed. Bosher adds the extra point. 31 14. Ten and a half minutes. The Ivans trying to fire everybody up. Time to keep the canes in it. The Seminoles leading the Hurricanes. Out West USC has just tied Stanford at 21 with about a minute to go in that game in the third quarter. And the Ivis is hoping that the Canes can keep it going after that. Rusher drills one deep. Greg Reed's got it at the one coming out. Terrific return, man, and the Canes light him up. Short of the 20-yard line. And there is some needed aggression on the part of Miami. Back tough. for the Knowles. That familiar 4-3, very basic. And they start it one way and come back with Ponder the other way. A beautifully designed play. Easterling to midfield. So the defense was and you can see why Nick Saban wanted it. First down and 10. Ponder can't pick up receiver, takes off and makes the most of still here for the Knowles. And a play fake by Ponder, and he's picking up Easterling for a first down. Just trying kind to of find openings in his own defense. Boy, did Easterling does a good job of just sitting in the holes and finding the openings. <laughs> Spare <laughs> sock down there, I think, on the field. And uh, Tom is up here. Ponder, incomplete. Got to take away the easy throws underneath. Ponder straight back. Goes for the home run, triple coverage, intercepted. Intercepted by Telemac, Von Telemac. They were trying to get to Burt Reed, but I'll tell you, that was a trying bit. to stay with him vertically. Linebacker against the receiver, you think you have some chance, and line does a good job of holding off the pressure, but you're right. Not He tries to get beyond Reed, but in order to get the throw in, he had to put a little bit of air underneath it, and to do that, it gave Telemont all he needed to be able to come over and make that big play. But, Power eye formation. Play action, they're going to throw out. And they've got it. First and 10. Time and remaining here for Miami. 7.40 in the third quarter. They come back with the run. And Barry, Barry sprints free. And he picks up a first down. Eight in the box. And Barry still picks up. Mike James replaces him right now. Be here he comes. He picks up the first down. Now it is the Miami coming after the front four and even getting up to the linebackers when they're running the football. This time they go with the empty set. The redshirt freshman is a right tackle. That's Johnson. There's a penalty flag. That could be holding. And with that bad groin slides across the the first down marker and the young man in a great deal of pain. And here comes Cooper. The helmet comes off. Hey Brent, I, I think when Cooper came into this lineup, and look at the effort here, look at the speed to the outside. There's the late hit by Joyner that was questionable, but they did call it. Cooper's insertion, it, it woke up not only the offense, but the entire stadium is excited to see Greg Cooper back in the lineup. And here he comes. Breaking a tackle. And Coop. Right now, because he, of all the running backs, can create the most opportunities. 
Chase Ford flexes as the tight end. Jacory goes pump fake near side. And it looks like this one could be. Cooper stays in as the running back. Two tight ends. Power to that left side. Harris looks back, fires high and incomplete. Doing that. Second down and ten. Dropped by Cooper. Get it down to two touchdowns. Very manageable in the fourth quarter. Dropped. Would have been a first down. They would have had a first and goal. Hankerson can't hang on. And it and is the first sellout at Sun Life Stadium for Miami since they came here back in September 2004. So here we go now for Bosher from the left hash, the young man from Jupiter. Perfect. What a big field goal that is. 36 yards. 31 17. Knowles still lead it. Reed shifts over to the return left side. And he's going to get a crack at it. Picks this one up at the six yard line. Looking for an alley. Got one on the far side. Big time return. Across his field. today, managing that game, had a great running game going, and they pull off that big upset. What a kick return! And here comes Thomas trying to get that left edge, and he is being thrown. Exactly. Thompson checks in. You can see the two backs there. Pryor. Thompson goes out of the backfield, and the quarterback was keeping this one all the way, and he gets up ended. Drop snap picks it up gonna take off won't get the first down as he goes up in the air and that can be dangerous. That's a fourth down coming up. Sean Spence was right there. But you wonder if Christian Ponder felt the pressure and just took a little bit of a peek as the ball was in the air maybe caused him to miss on the ball and he's very fortunate he's able to get up from that. You go airborne you appreciate the effort from the quarterback but there's three canes waiting there all three of them linebackers waiting to hit the ball. Benjamin lets it go. And it goes Joyner down. still in and Rhodes still out in that secondary. Here comes the end around Benjamin looking for daylight. Got it big time run. Out of bounds at the 20. Well, that's a good job. Again, anytime you can go up against this athletic Florida State defense, and you're going to be able to go in with any kind of misdirection, whether it's reverse, anything at all, because they are coming downhill so fast. This time, Benjamin got to the corner and outran the safety parts to pick up even more yards. Corey hands it off. One of these great Florida State defensive linemen. I think he's showing that he is. Play action. Harris rolls the pocket and throws it out of bounds. Not been able to do that at all, and it has limited the Kane's offense. Needing 10. Incomplete. Kane's are forced to punt. Remember that kickoff return, turn field position. Bad snap picked up by Bosher. Reads out of Aldosta, Georgia. Driven back and it's makes time the to make a move. That's that's how I sort of read that because they're going to miss that big rascal. Does he draw a couple of defenders? Help you out a little bit. Here comes ball Jermaine. bounce as he threw it over his shoulder. Looking. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the end around now. Razzle dazzle looking for daylight on the edge with Reed. This is Burke back ahead. 34-28. This presentation of Saturday Night Football presented by Southwest Airlines returns after this message and a word from our ABC station. Jordan James, one of the great running backs in Miami history here tonight, watching from the sideline. Kirk Herb Street, Heather Cox, I'm Brent Musburger. We start the fourth quarter. Jermaine Thomas is the running back for this third down run coming up.
Ponder to fire incomplete and it goes to fourth down James and the team. so Travis Benjamin would love to get a crack at this to give the Canes some field position. Beautiful punt. Inside the big lead, and now the Canes are trying to catch up to him again. Maybe that was a 54-yard punt. Play action, Jacory Harris in a foot race. And he'll take it down, picking up a good four yards and 14 over Toledo. So Boise State arguing to be ranked number three or even number two. And this will started last week, started again today, and he's still learning. But look at his size, folks. Wow. Jacory Harris dropped. You know, Hankerson is his leading first receiver. Down, he would have been right at the first down marker. Again, Jacory feeling the pressure, puts the ball where his man can make a catch. Great receivers make that catch. Now, Greg Reed, the sophomore from Valdosta, goes back, and there's only 10 men on the field for the Canes. Ray Ray Armstrong coming in there late. Fourth and nine. Botcher will try to get this off. This is very returnable if it takes a nice hop. It did not. But still in all, good field. Chris Berman will have his top 10 plays. <laughs> Thomas scored three first half touchdowns. Christian Ponder, the young man from Texas, under center here for the Knowles. Second down at nine. Play action fake. Now he has to run out of troubles in a foot race. Goes for the first down marker. McCarthy bangs him out of Sunday football. First down and ten. Ponder runs Thomas into that hole. We check in again with Robert Flores. All right, Brent, here's what's happening. lead the Canes by a couple of touchdowns. 31 17. Second down and four. Thompson, the running back, trying to muscle for it and not going to get it. Third and two. Flyers had some success at the fullback spot on these situations. He'll lead the way for Thompson, and he does just that. First down. Ooh, that Florida State band, they gotta, they got to look this quite a way away from the field. Whoa. First down and 10. And hit in the backfield as Thompson well, thrown coming up. Canes need a takeaway. Knowles want to keep on pushing. Want to salt this one away. Ponder on that roll to the right. Fires incomplete. Good play by Here's Thompson. Thompson cuts, battles, got the first down. What a tough run. They got a little depth at this running back position. Down inside the red zone, and here comes Thomas. He'll be looking for his fourth touchdown tonight. Nothing doing it. And with the ball right now, facing a second down and 11. Thompson, the running back. So this will be third and long. Third down and 11 here. For the Seminoles. Ponder fires end zone. Got a man. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Rodney Smith. The sophomore from right here in Miami. The extra point is good by Dustin Hunt. What's happened to their program the last four or five years? This, this is a team to look out for. Keep an eye on. Out of the end zone. It'll come out on the 20-yard line. Family, of course, going to school there. Here's Jacory on a little play action and stands still and completes it in the middle. And was he across the line again? I think Herbie? he was. Yep. That's how he ended the first. So here we go. Final 724. And that's complete. Bird shakes and bakes at the is. big picture. No question. Jacory will drop in underneath. And the gang tag lane picks up the first down following a couple of their games. And this is the first night that they've used it for a college football game. Hanging right <laughs> straight ahead is Barry. Picks up a skill for the fellows, but 
But Jimmy is somebody who can make that transition. He's, he's a heck of a player. To Corey Harris, chucking it to the end zone. Too many receivers. Well, it's four great corners on this defense. And here comes Harris, chucking it back down toward Benjamin. Goes up for it in a battle and can't pull it down. When they get the ball back, that has been some ball game out there at Stanford tonight. Back and forth. Big win if USC can come back and win that against the Cardinal. Especially on the road. Here's your fourth down. Jacori. Picked off. The defensive back Joyner was standing there. Oh, and coming up. Chris Thompson checks in. And now the Knowles here in South Florida will go to work on the clock. In the polls, the Spart Sparty's going to move way up in this week's poll. Yeah, they really will. And, uh, they swing Thompson out wide now to the right. Keeps on coming. Breaks free to daylight. And there's a penalty flag, so hang on. Back by the line of scrimmage. <laughs> They're kind of our offensive line. You yeah. Know. Wow, they, they, they drove 3,251 3, miles. That's unreal. Wow. So thanks a lot, guys. It, uh, we appreciate those things. Here it comes again. Is this instant replay? Can anybody catch him? Touchdown, Florida State. 90 yards. I thought I was looking at instant replay. I thought you were going to diagram it here for me. That's what a defense. Hopkins adds the extra point with his punter. For the USC game. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's watching that game? He was dialed in there. <laughs> We got about 15 seconds <laughs> left, Irby. Luck under center. <laughs> and here's the kickoff, and uh, they are down. Stanford's down to the 11-yard line. They got the transfer from Notre Dame, Whitaker, to kick the field goal. And uh, meanwhile, like Storm the old Johnson. Denver Bronco teams with the way sure they block. That zone blocking, the athletic ability, the offensive line. They get up to the second level to the linebackers, and they've got backs with great vision. And you can see that uh, the young man, Spencer Whipple, who transferred to Miami from Massachusetts. So here is Spencer. Firing complete for a first NFL, down. Here he comes. First down and 15. Whipple hands it off. There's some of these youngsters are enjoy it. In the coastal division. And then Clemson goes on that schedule, they look down to Florida State. Big time performance here tonight. Deflected incomplete in the game as the punt returner and Bosher. If I'm Reed, I got that fair catch. There it is. And about the 18th. And EJ Manuel. Will now clean it up here for Florida State, Harvey. This big time linebacking recruit. We're going to yeah. be seeing. He's one of Mark's stars down the road. Second down and ten. So a big win for Florida. Wind State. it on down. E.J. Manuel won the bowl game because the regular starter who we had here tonight, Christian Ponder, was hurt. And so E.J. was the winning quarterback against West Virginia.